In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, as we gather around the table of the Lord, we come today and celebrate the memorial of Saint Charbel, a Lebanese monk, hermit, and priest, who was greatly renowned for his devotion to the Blessed Sacrament. Following in his example, we remember our call to continue to dedicate ourselves to Christ, living our lives to continue to hear his word, to let our hearts accept the beautiful message of Christ's love for us. And so as we come to receive our Lord in the celebration of the Eucharist, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries by calling to mind our sins and asking our loving God once again for his mercy and his forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who called the priest Saint Charbel Makluf to the solitary combat of the desert and imbued him with all manner of devotion, grant us, we pray, that being made imitators of the Lord's passion, we may merit to be co-heirs of his kingdom, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Return, rebellious children, says the Lord, for I am your master. I will take you, one from a city, two from a clan, and bring you to Zion. I will appoint over you shepherds after my own heart, who will shepherd you wisely and prudently. When you multiply and become fruitful in the land, says the Lord, they will in those days no longer say, the ark of the covenant of the Lord, they will no longer think of it, or remember it, or miss it, or make another. At that time, they will call Jerusalem the Lord's throne. There all nations will be gathered together to honor the name of the Lord at Jerusalem. And they will walk no longer in their hard-hearted wickedness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations. Proclaim it on distant isles and say, He who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessings the grain, the wine and the oil, the sheep and the oxen. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Then the virgins shall make merry and dance, and young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart, and yield a harvest of perseverance. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Hear the parable of the sower. The seed sown on the path is the one who hears the word of the kingdom without understanding it. And the evil one comes and steals away what was sown in his heart. The seed sown on rocky ground is the one who hears the word and receives it at once with joy, but he has no root and lasts only for a time. 
When some tribulation or persecution comes because of the word, he immediately falls away. The seed sown among thorns is the one who hears the word, but then worldly anxiety and the lure of riches choke the word, and it bears no fruit. But the seed sown on rich soil is the one who hears the word and understands it, who indeed bears fruit and yields a hundred, or sixty, or thirtyfold. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The words of our Gospel today should ring familiar because it has not been that long since we heard them. We heard them two Sundays ago as our Gospel reading for that Sunday. And as we heard the parable of the sower and the seed that he sows on the ground, we are reminded and continue to be reminded of the importance of continuing to open our hearts to receive that good news of Jesus, to receive the seed of the Word of God into our hearts, and thus then to continuously look inside of ourselves to look to see what is the condition of our hearts. Are we willing to be able to hear and to take in the Word of God, to truly let it take root in our heart, not to let it just spring up without any good roots, but to truly be planted in the love and the mercy that our Lord has for us. We hear what will happen when that truly happens in our first reading today from the prophet Jeremiah, that on that day when we truly embrace the Lord, we will no longer seek to find God in the Ark of the Covenant, but truly find Him in our midst. And indeed, God is already present in our midst. He makes Himself known to us in the celebration of the Eucharist. He makes himself known to us each and every moment of our life and the many blessings that we continue to receive. But it's up to us to be able to recognize him. It's up to up us to continue to discern his presence in our life, to make our hearts suitable and rich for an abundant harvest, one in which we truly embrace the word of God. And so as we come to once again celebrate this blessed sacrament. Let us continue to pray for that gift of being able to not only just hear and listen to the Word of God, but to truly let it take root in our hearts so that it may grow into that rich and abundant harvest as we continue to seek to do the will of our Heavenly Father always. And so trusting in our loving God, let us bring to him our prayers and our petitions this day. We pray for our church. May we continue to be a people of God who listen and hear to, the vo to his voice. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for our nation. May we sow seeds of peace and unity through our words and through our actions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for all those who are feeling burdened or are distracted by worldly anxieties. May their, may their focus be drawn back to our loving God who promises us peace and rest. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are stressed with any kind of anxiety or troubles at this time. May their support of family and friends be a source of love and comfort for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are sick, all those who are struggling and fighting against any illness or disease, that they may receive the healing touch of Christ, our royal physician. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who have died and gone before us. May they come to share in the rest of Christ and may their family and friends be comforted in their grief. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray especially at this Mass today for the intentions of Joanne and Patrick Cunningham and the repose of the soul of Ralph Gilla, for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And in the quiet of our hearts are spoken aloud where we are. We bring to our God our prayers and petitions this day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Almighty and ever-loving God, you continue to sow your seed amongst our hearts and invite us to let it grow within us. Listen, we pray to the prayers we bring before you as we ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands have become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands have become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings made for the salvation of your people, so that through the intercession of Blessed Charbel, we may flee the enticements of sin and draw near to the company of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us on the festival of St. Charbel, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of this holy life teacher by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Jose our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Our Lady of the Assumption, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Charbel, whom we honor today, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. And peace be with you all. The Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant our request, we pray, O Lord our God, that defended by the protection of Blessed Charbel, we may live by the sacrament of your wisdom and serenity and moderation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to hear and to listen to the voice of God. Thanks be to God.